As a functional or a technical guy, you always need to play around with data. And SE16N is the place where you always go and check the data. At times you wish uh, that the data was something else in the table so that you could test your scenario. So in such cases, you can always debug the T code SE16N and then edit the table entries. But, but you need to be very careful because you can edit uh, the standard tables as well as the custom tables. And since you have uh, the ability to add entries, delete entries, so you should be careful that you don't delete all the entries. Okay, you need to know what you are trying to do. The standard SE16 screen, SE16N screen would look like this. See, you have this table entries, but you cannot edit it. You cannot add an entry, you cannot delete an entry, or you cannot change the entries. So, this is SE16N, and then rows value cannot be edited, cannot insert or delete entries. So, but with the help of debugger, you can do some magic. Look. The same table now becomes editable. If you if you see closely, look, this all these rows are uh, white. They are editable. You can just click on that and change the value. And also, just look on the buttons, the toolbar. You have this create icon. You have this add icon. You have this um, delete icon. You have this copy icon. So this table is open for you. Now you can put your own data. Say, say you want to change the material, just change the material. You want to change the plan, change the plan. Or you want to add a new row, you can do that. So how did we achieve this? By the sheer power of debugging. So here the table is editable. You can see insert, add, delete, row available here now. And you also have the save button. Means once you change it, it saves. But as Spider-Man's Uncle Ben said, with great power comes great responsibility. So you need to be very careful. So you should know what you are trying to do. You should use this uh, debugging skill only in your non-production system. I am sure in your production system you will not have a debugger ability. But even if you were given a debugger ability in your production system, you should never change the table entries directly. At least not in the standard table because it leads to inconsistency if you do not do it properly and you are learning this trick here but you should use it very sensibly and you should not be unethical uh, in your projects or with your clients so never try to uh, edit these entries in stand in the production environment and in the standard tables all right so this trick you can use only in your development box or in a quality box just for testing some scenarios where you are not able to replicate the issue or you are not able to create some test data. In those cases, you can use this trick for saving some time. Alright, so hope you will use this uh, responsibly.